Hello and welcome to another video review on AV Forums. I am Phil Hinton, the site editor, and in this video we are taking a first look at this, the LG 65 inch G2 OLED EVO TV. This is a review sample that has just arrived with us here at AV Forums, and we will, of course, be doing our full in-depth review on it in due course. But as it's just turned up, I thought it'd be worth having a first look at the design, the new stand for this TV, and of course the menus and settings. We'll also cover the basic out-of-the-box settings to get you started in a separate video. To get started, let's have a look at the design of this G2, which is of course the LG Gallery Series TV, and one that's designed to be wall-mounted. Unlike other OLED models from LG, the G2 isn't as thin a panel when looking from the side, and that's because everything is designed to be completely fat at the back so it can be wall mounted flat against the wall. The G2 comes with a specially designed wall mount that fits to the top of the rear panel and is flush with the panel thanks to it being recessed. This means that you can get the TV flat against the wall. Also helping with this super flat rear panel is the advanced cable management system that allows channeling of the cables from the source inputs along the rear of the set and then facing down the wall mounting or on the new stand and they can be routed away from the mounting surface. If you are table mounting the G2 OLED EVO TV, it comes with a new stand design that is centrally mounted instead of the older gallery series feet at either end of the panel. This stand also has a four degree lean back on the panel and a newly designed front edge with the LG logo that's visible from the front. This stand is an optional extra and we are waiting on pricing for this from LG. Another neat touch is that the stand is also able to swivel from side to side. If you're table mounting, you can also take advantage of the cable management system and once everything is connected, you can cover up the cables with the supplied covers that come in the box with the optional stand. This gives the G2 a 360 degree design, which makes it look neat on stands which are away from the wall and positioned towards the center of a room. It certainly makes things look neat and tidy. The remote control supplied with this year's G2 is the now familiar redesign of the Magic Remote, which is still plastic and still doesn't have a backlight. Come on LG, this is the higher end designer TV. Let's have a remote control to match. So let's get the camera reset and we'll take a look at the menu system on this year's G2 OLED EVO. So the menu system hasn't changed that much from last year and we're just gonna quickly go through uh, the different options that are here this year. So we do have a settings video, uh, keep your eyes open for that and it'll be all the various settings for SDR, HDR and Dolby Vision. Um, so very quickly gonna go through here. So again, our selections here are the same as what they normally are. You've got game opt optimizer, the two cinema settings there. Cinema is uh, D65, everything switched off. Cinema home has some processing added. Standard is far too blue and vivid is just disgusting. Um, so those are your selections there. Again, aspect ratio, we have the usual selections in there. Uh, we're gonna go original and of course just scan on. Uh, and then if you go into advanced settings, again, uh, if you've got a 2020, one uh, TV, yeah, this will all be very familiar with the Filmmaker auto, uh, selection and reduce blue light. You're going to leave those off. Uh, and we're going to go into the brightness. And again, there's nothing really different in here in terms of selections and so on. Um, and color, again, color is basically what you would expect to find in here. There's no major changes. Uh, and then when we come to clarity, again, it's all the same as it was last year. The only thing is if we go into true motion, we've got to use the selection. Um, if we go down to OLED motion, you'll now notice that that's on or off. Um, you will see that that is flickering on the camera because I'm uh, at the wrong shutter speed because this is a, it's now uh, playing back at 60 Hertz uh, with the uh, black frame insertion, switch that off again. Uh, there's no 120 black frame insertion. It appears that LG have withdrawn that from the 2022 model. So if you want that feature for SDR content, um, it's missing at the moment. Uh, it's only 60 Hertz now uh, in terms of black frame insertion. And we wouldn't advise you using that for HDR content anyway. And it's HDR that we're feeding the set at this moment in time. And again, everything else 
is exactly the same as it was last time around. So really what we're coming down to at the end of the day here is performance. Uh, there is a new processor obviously on board. Um, there is going to be some differences uh, in here. Oh, there is one other thing that I need to show you. Uh, energy saving has moved. It moved uh, in the 2021 models. If you're not aware of this, you need to go to general. You need to go to OLED care, uh, device self care, and then energy saving is in here. You need to click on that and then switch energy saving off. Uh, otherwise, you have no control over the panel brightness whatsoever. So if you were then to go into the advanced settings and go to brightness, uh, the OLED pixel brightness would be greyed out. You have no control over that. Uh, so you need to go and switch uh, energy saving off. And that's the reason why you need to do that. So uh, we are going to start our review process. There will be a settings video coming very, very soon in terms of the best settings out of the box uh, in terms of what uh, you need to see content, film and TV content as the creator intended. We'll give you those settings. It's basically filmmaker mode uh, and uh, cinema in Dolby Vision. But we'll go through that and we'll show you some of the settings and so on. And that wraps up our first look at the LG G2 review sample design and menu system. We are currently working on the full in-depth review with the usual measurements and testing. So why not subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our review. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. You can also find our Patreon details in the description below. And if you want to see what forum members think about the G2 after they've purchased it, then go and check out the LG TV forum at AV Forums. I'm Phil Hinton, thanks for watching and do come back again soon for our full review of the LG G2 OLED EVO TV.